Well, that went a bit tits up, didn't it? Welcome back to the channel and welcome if you've never been here before. Keen followers of the channel will have watched yesterday's video where it was an absolute audio shambles. Picture quality, mwah. audio, <laughs> really, really aggravated me. Emma had to calm me down. I didn't even realise until I'd released it. And what, Whenever I make a video, I watch it back on the TV to see what everyone else is seeing, just for quality control and stuff. And I went, <laughs> can't hear that in the edit. You can't hear it. I think what I'd done was, as I moved the iPad, I've looked into it, you see, you've got a gain selection on the side. I think I've just grabbed it by the side and moved the gain before I've imported it. And it's just clipped everything out, which is a massive shame because that video is an hour long. Can you imagine how long that took me to make? I tried to explain to Emma how I was feeling, the reason why I was feeling that I was feeling. And the only analogy I could come up with was, imagine you're a painter and you've spent all this time painting a picture and you're really happy with it. And you go to make a cup of tea, come back and the sun's blazed the hottest it's ever been for 25 seconds and it distorts the picture. But you can still see the picture. It's still nice to the average person. But to you, you know exactly how that should have been. That's the only way I can put it. So all my hard work, I wasn't happy with it. And I had to leave it up. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm not going to take it down and re-upload it. Pointless. So I appreciate the guys that had stuck with it and watched until the end and actually entered into the giveaway competition. You obviously made it through. And I thought it was an issue with the DJI at first. But as I got through to the end of the video, I realised that this part of the video where I recorded on my iPhone was exactly the same. That's how I came to the realisation that I'd actually moved the game post exporting so i've addressed that i apologize and i thank you for sticking with the video those of you that did i am going to record a little clip with the dji just to set on my own mind because i'm a little bit still like was it that i'm pretty sure it was so i'm going to pick some orders in a minute and i'm going to use the dji to do that just so i can play around with the audio when it comes to the edit just a double check to make sure it was me moving the game so we'll pick some orders in a moment i'll strap you on and we'll go from there Right, round two, let's try this out then. I'm going to speak with normal tone like I normally would to see if it's my loud ass voice causing the issue. I'm on that edit section now and it actually turns out that the input from the DJI is just so loud and we don't have an option in there to turn that down. So what I need to do pre-edit is just turn down the gain on the actual footage from the DJI and then we should go from there. So it's going to be a matter of figuring out how many decibels we need to go minus in order to get the sweet spot we'll see how that works out and just go from there hopefully it's all right when it comes to exporting we'll soon find out i'm going for all of this for you guys i want you to have the best viewing experience you possibly can now, i'm pretty sure i know where the first one is i should be looking on the order screen really but it should be on top of something h i j got a lot of stuff in here that hasn't been sorted out yet Scooby-Doo, hide and seek, sold for £10. I actually listed it for £6.89. But the vintage username, Bargain Bucket UK, go and check them out, sent me an offer of £10. So that's very, very kind. Thank you so much. So this one's going out for a tenner. We've got some big news on the Jelly Cat coming up in the moment as well. Sold them all. The new balance that I picked up the other day. Oh, that's sold as well. Let's grab that while I'm here. The New Balance that I picked up the other day sold immediately on the same day. I paid £10 for these. They sold for £29.76 or something. I'll have a look in a second. So it was Ron that picked these ones up. He said, thanks, Ricky. I know you like your numbers. Nice haircut. Long-time viewer. Keep it up. Regards, Ron. £27.43. Paid £10. They sold the same day. Fantastic. I've got to try and find these. Now, I am going to be sorting this garage out today. Where's Q? Q... Nautica. Don't worry, I'm not going to make a habit of doing this picking videos. This is purely for my testing. Oh, this is purely for my testing purposes only. Just for that quality control from yesterday. So these sold for a pound. They sold to Simon. I've had these listed for a while and I just wanted to move them on. He said, I've gone from a 40 to a 38 in three weeks. I thought it's best to buy these for my first piece of new clothes for my weight loss journey. 36 inch waist. Soon, baby. He also said, Check out my three triple XL I've put on Vinted. Bargains galore. Thanks again for your channel. It took the pain away. He's gone through a little bit of surgery. I'm not going to go into too much detail because that's his own private business. But if you want to go check out the Vinted page, SNJ70, Sierra November Juliet 70, there'll be some bargains on there. Appreciate you, Simon. 
and that's all for Vinted. And that's all I'm going to do for this video clip. I just wanted something to test out in the edit. I hope you can appreciate. Okay, we'll see how that footage is. I've got no idea. You already know by now. I haven't edited it yet, obviously. Moving over to eBay now. We've got a few sales going out, quite a lot actually. And I don't have the table space because I've still got stock from yesterday piling it up. So I like to juggle things around. First one going out for $14.99 is another Amiibo. This is the Pac-Man Amiibo. Paid a pound, sold loads now, pure profit. Sticking with the Amiibo, might as well stay with it. Diddy Kong, also sold, I believe, for $11.95. Bit cheaper on this one. I probably don't care. It's all profit, baby. I'm not going to get them down because they're up there. But a big... I'm going to put a screenshot up today. Ricky, do a screenshot! Lazy! A bag of stamps, like ink stamps, rubber stamps, some new, some used, whatever else. Nice big chunk there. They sold for £34.99. All in. Darth Vader lightsaber with you has sold for $9.99. All in. Boom. A set of three Robert Rankin books. Now there's three this size, this weight. They are they are quite heavy, but I paid a pound for a set of three, I think. And there's a note actually that says, Hey Ricky, been watching your vids for ages. Subscribed, thank you. If everyone else could follow suit, that would be lovely. Never even looked at your listings in all that time until today. Glad to support you and the channel. Saw these books and good to find something I wanted. Cheers, Gunf. Well, Gunf, on his way to you shortly, £12.99 all in. Gonna cost me about 15 quid to ship them. <laughs> Again, I'm not gonna get them down because they're up there, but I've sold both of those pairs of Altberg Defenders. One pair which was used, another pair which was lightly used the used pair sold for 33 pounds 24 and the lightly used sold for 39.99 both sold on the same day two different people i think two different people got them from the saturday car boot sale paid a tenner and a five i think so 750 a pair bargain little vintage music box i've had sitting around for ages it's very old 1889 i think something like that 1884 so it'll wind up kids. Ding 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 I'm gonna kill you kind of music box. Sold for on bids, £15.99 all in, £12 plus postage. I just bidded it. For £17.99, we've got this very small war department box. So if you look on here, WD stands for war department. It is the department for war. You know, they make all the tools, toolboxes, weapons, ammunition boxes, all those kinds of things. And it has the crow's foot or the arrow, however you want to define it. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a, a crow's foot, isn't it? I think. I'm not too sure. So for £17.99. All in. For £14.14, pence, we sold this vintage Butlins biscuit tin. Vintage Butlins biscuit tin. Vintage Butlins biscuit tin. Vintage Butlins biscuit tin. Good job, that's sturdy and well made. That bubble would have come off if it was made today. Got a message on this one as well. Thanks for accepting my offer on the biscuit tin. 1414 is a great number. And I agree. That's why I accepted it. Love watching your channel. Best wishes, Adrian and Karina. Adrian and Karina, I massively appreciate you both for picking up this Butlins biscuit tin. Vintage Butlins biscuit. Shut up now. Fucking annoying twat. As far as anybody watches you still. Some of the comments are correct though. I am very annoying. £12, this is sold. And I know that this is sold to somebody as well because they messaged me. But please, 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 I love you all. But please leave notes on the orders. What's up, Ricky? Would £12 buy it? Send me the offer if you're interested. So I sent the offer and said, let's go, baby. Thank you. Appreciate it, mate. Found you now on eBay. So hopefully many more purchases. Love the show. Stay blessed. Stay blessed to you, mate. I appreciate your purchase. Big up on its way to you shortly. That's sold to Jay, by the way. J -J Jay, by the way. £49.49 49 is the Fisher Price toy bundle, the food and the food items only. Some of you who watch the channel regularly will remember me picking these up two weeks ago. Bundled it all together. I could, I could have got so much money selling this individually, so much. Some of the stuff go for like 12 to 15 each. I'm not about that life. I'm not about that life. These have sold for £49.99. And while I'm here, let me just tell you something. I heard it through the grapevine that somebody said I'm a shit reseller because I don't hold out for the full asking price of stuff. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If I buy something for a pound and the market value is 20 pound, I'm listing it for 12 quid. I want shot of it fast. People are gonna see all those listings of 20 pound when they search for the item 
and there's going to be me there sitting at 12 pounds they're going to be like what the what the actual what the what the hell and they buy that that's how i like to work my business these jelly cats you're going to be in for a shock in a minute i've sold them for a very nice price but just you wait until you find out how much i sold them for way below what i could get because i've sold them fast and i've made mega money that's how i like to deal with my stuff i'm paying a fraction of the resale price most of the time if i'm doing my job correctly so i'm happy to sell it way under the market and just get it sold and move on to the next thing get that cash in and buy something else get that cash in buy something else because after a while getting that cash in a little bit's going to stay behind when i take a bit off to buy something else and that little bit that i leave behind is going to keep growing and growing and growing and growing that's how i like to run my business if you want to ask market price for stuff so be it, you're allowed to do that. That's your way of doing things. And that is a way, a strategy of business. Do your thing. I like to work on get it in, get it on, get it gone, baby. Speaking of getting it in, getting it on, getting it gone. Paid £10 from the charity shop the other day. I told you it was £20 before. I sat and watched. I was like, nah, I'm not paying 20 Because I'll only get about 50 for it. Paid £10. Sold within two days for £50 all in free postage. £50? £50 all in free postage. It's a water filter. You drill a hole in your own sink, put your own little water tap on it. You've got two little filters in there plus two little bottles. Brilliant. These are selling on their website for £98.99. Bargains! Bargain buckets. Speaking of buckets, we've actually sold the Lion King popcorny bucket thing, whatever you call it. There we go. Put your salted caramel in there or your plain salt. If you have just plain salt, you're a psycho, by the way. Got to mix a little bit of sugary ones in there as well. This is sold for £16.14. pence. Paid £3 from the car boot sale. £13.94. We've sold a pair of brand spanking new Izod jeans at a waist size of 52 leg 34. £13.94 all in because there wasn't shifting. So I just reduced, reduced, reduced. Basically sold a bench cover as well this is sold for six pounds 49 pence all in i've had this for probably seven months ridiculous don't like having things too long apart from you know forget it 10 pounds all in we have sold the prison remote control i don't think it's for a prison it's just from part of the early 2000s you know when everything was like see-through if this was prison it'd be completely see-through which reminds me if you get bored go on ebay type in prison electronics see the value of some of that stuff oh jesus and for £5.97, we've sold the trivet that I bought for £3, got home and said, well, I'm going to lose money on this because it's not worth anything what I thought it would be. And that is just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Currently doing the postage and realised there was actually a note on the trivet and it said, me and my partner recently started watching your content and love seeing all the gems you find. Keep up the good work. So Bethany, massively appreciate that. Sorry, I have my screen sort of slightly raised up. I didn't see the note. It was cut off at the top. So I appreciate you both. Thank you so much on its way to you shortly. All right, there we go. We've done most of the smalls. In fact, we've done all of the smalls. We've just got bottle, tin, bucket, food, and books to pack, and two Altberg defenders, and two, and a bag of stamps. Just the big stuff. But I've got, I filled, I filled up an IKEA bag with the small stuff. That's Vinted and small stuff eBay. I'm going to take a break because I'm getting bored of what I'm doing. And that's what you need to do. Listen to your brain, listen to your mind, and remember, you are in control of your own day-to-day -day business. You are your own boss, and if you need to change tasks, change tasks. You can't do that in a nine-to-five, most nine-to-fives. So take advantage of it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go drop this bag off to the post office, and then we're going to go check out a charity shop. Then we've got one more sale to talk about. Let's go! What a beautiful day for it. Lovely. Morning. I don't right? recognise you, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. She's back. Who, where? Oh, yes. Yeah, Hello. Hello. Where have you been? I decided that I'm, I'm only staying to learn the clock. Yeah, fair enough. At least you're doing something, mate. Right, there were some nice cool t shirts here the other day, so I'm going to see if there's any more being added to the selection. Hopefully. Not looking good though. That's quite a funky one. See the wood state though. Get out of here, you. S That's nice. What has happened here? So I mean, it's overflowing. Flog it out. Do you know what I mean? Uh, night golf, centre swoosh, vintage, five quid. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to take that, aren't we? First one down. I'll pop that somewhere where people know it's obviously being bought. No, no, you're all right. I'm in no rush. All right. 
There you go, there's stools everywhere, aren't there? I'm never in a rush. I had a tray for a five, I'd have gone for it. One right. and two. Oh, Thank we're just filling the bags today. I'll put it there for a minute. I might even have credit actually to be fair. Right. It's got to be close because your screen's oh, a bit. No, customer has £5 loyalty credit. Yeah, that's what go. I like to hear. Loyalty. Get a nice so loyalty free t shirt. Get on. <laughs> so, I'll pay you that pound in cash. I've got a pound coin on me. Hello. Hello. Hello, Paul. You alright? Paulie Paul's in the house. Happy days? I think so. You take that. Yes, I did it. <laughs> yeah, I did well it. done, mate. Just you. You've done well. I don't need that. No, I... you need your receipt. No, no, no. It's okay. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Lovely. See you, Paul. Yeah. See you. Bye. See you. I'll see you. Good to see you again. And there we go. See, it's never not a good idea to pop into your charity shop every single day, especially if you've got a local one. I understand traveling. For five pound, we picked up this Nike Sphere 2000s top. It's like a quarter zip, but it's not like a quarter zip. It is a quarter zip. It's a quarter zip. It's got a really nice sort of like sucker, sucker, whatever, waffly type of design. Nice little bit of, it feels very, very, it's almost like another layer of skin, but a really thin layer. It's like silky almost, but that feels really, really nice to wear. It's a nice big size, extra large, five pound on a tag. I had loyalty points. This cost me zero pound and zero pence. I got it for free. I should be able to get about 30 quid for that without even without even trying. 29.99, gone. Beautiful pickup that, fantastic. I'll show you the tag as well. It's got the night golf tag, the older one as well. This is the older one. Oh, and it says there as well, look, Nike Sphere React. And I picked up this little Lego construction worker torch key ring for a pound and it works. I'll get about 10, 12 quid for that quite easily as well so for one pound got it all so 30 40 quid 40 quid for a pound if i didn't have the loyalty points i would have spent six pounds six pounds into 40 of sales we take that all day long speaking of sales though right so the jelly cats that i picked up yesterday i've sold them all one big deal referring back to the people that said that i'm not a good reseller because i don't go for top money morons they're gonna love this so we've done some research and i've had some jelly cat expert opinion proper collectors reach out and say yeah this one is very very sought after indeed i just dropped one this one is very very sought after indeed solds of 200 plus and anything around that figure i've managed to find on terra peak solds of 158 and 250 and some other ones as well and 215 the other recent one the little liberty rabbit so let's say let's say we're given an average of 210 on this one it was retired in 2007 that's what's quite hard to find and it's the medium one not the small one the liberty rabbit i've seen sold on bids of 30 pounds so i reckon it's probably 40 quid in that so that's 250 i think the poppet monkey is about 15 quid so there's 265 i've seen the yak sell for 35 to 45 so there's let's say 265 3 310 ish and the rabbit i think that was a 22 quidder so 330 ish i've sold them all for 200 pound i paid two pound for them. actually paid a pound i'll give her two quid because i thought pound each a pound they're 20 they were 20 pence each basically hello good afternoon sir good afternoon. is that whose name's on that Emma. of course it is have a good day mate these were 20 pence each i paid two pound in total i have just 200 x my money overnight overnight a friend of mine's picking them up. Ricky, most of you know him as Top Clobber over on whatnot. He's buying these for Sarah, who's a massive jelly cat collector. I did reach out to Michelle, of course, and said that I've got these. I think they're worth a bit of money. Would you like to give me some information on them? And if you would like to make a deal, we're open to that. Michelle came back, actually got her daughter, Courtney. So Courtney, thank you so much for the information. Courtney came back and told me some of the information about them, which I'd already confirmed as well with some other people and my own research, which just accumulated into a nice info vat, I suppose. And... Courtney said fair play as well they're out of her price range but she really appreciates me thinking of her and Ricky's picked them all up for Sarah so paid two pound on Sunday today is Monday and I've sold them all for 200 pound yes I could get three 350 plus but I don't care why would I care if you was to give me two pound and I was to give you 200 in return you're not going to whinge are you 
Somebody might have given me 350 for my two pound. Stop it. Think different. Or you don't even have to. You haven't got to work the same way that I do. This works for me and I enjoy doing this. Because you know why? You guys who watch as well, who's got my Vinted 2002 RL, by the way, I do need to update it to the description. And you've got my eBay links down below. And you've also got me on Instagram and email where the bargains are even more cheaper. That doesn't sound right. Where the bargains are better. It works out better for you guys. We, are, we all work differently. And the way I work really, really, really works for me. So you continue doing what you're doing and I'll continue doing what I'm doing and I wish you all the success in the world. Honestly, I hope you get top money for everything that you go for. You deserve it. We all do. We all deserve a nice little living away from the nine to five grind if we can. It's not a glamorous job. It's not the best job, but it's all right. Right, let's pick a winner for the, what was it? Space Monkey. I'm really sorry about the audio in that video again, by the way. Hopefully that clip I've done I can fix it. Oh, I wish I could find some good little games to buy. Horrible, horrible, horrible sound. I'm so annoyed with that one. Anyway, who cares? We've got the video. Paste the video title. Fetch the comments. Anything does go on this one. 115 comments. And the winner is... Remember I said I hope that somebody who's a knob wins so I can actually say to them, give me your address so I can send it. Hopefully, you're a knob. Gainer, great items you got. Really enjoyed the video. Thank you. Well, that is probably just the best comment you could ever receive, isn't it? Gainer, thank you so much. Reach out to me. My contact links are in the description down below. Email, Instagram, TikTok. Probably wouldn't answer on TikTok. I barely use it. And all the links to my items that I use for my store and my YouTube are down below. Head on down, come on over and collect your monkey. And on that note, Gainer, congratulations. I will see you again for another video very shortly and another giveaway. Apologies again for yesterday's audio. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care guys. <sighs>